For my account's first long-term goal, I wanted to achieve the Infernal Cape. There were probably 30 or less UIMs with the cape at the time, so it would be an amazing achievement. I had fairly recently gotten an Infernal Cape on my main, but I wanted to up the ante a bit and do it again, without banking or trading. But I had a long way to go before the Inferno. I needed to progress the account a bit, get my stats up, upgrade my gear, and honestly, just have fun playing the game for a little while. Inferno is an insanely difficult challenge, and rushing it too soon would only make it more difficult. As you can see, I had a pretty decent total level, and my house already had quite a few good upgrades. So now let's sit back and enjoy the journey of how I achieved the coveted Infernal Cape in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. After maxing my first skill, I decided to try out some Theater of Blood. I had never done it before, so needless to say, it was quite the challenge. What? Wait, what? Oh my god, there's no way. Wait, what kill count is this? Oh my god, this is kill count 35. There's no way that just happened. So I actually got a Kraken task, and I'm going to do this boss because I really want the pet. Feeling out the collection all going to be cool as well, but I really want the pet because I have a bunch of kill count on my normie, and I still haven't gotten it yet. And I, I still also don't have a real pet on this account yet. Oh my god, I got the tentacle. That's the first unique besides the jar. Holy crap, finally. <gasps> Oh my god, I got it. No way, I just remembered to turn on my recording. My clan was doing a Chambers of Zarek boss of the week, so with my recently acquired Kraken Tentacle, I decided to upgrade my whip and camp raids for the entirety of the week. Hopefully I can unlock rigor. I wasn't recording, and then I logged out, so I missed the message in the chat box, but I just got my second arcane uh, prayer scroll from a raid at 54 kill count, so... <laughs> That's actually the third item in my name, which is pretty crazy. So I'm attempting the very first solo raid on this account. Now, obviously it's not efficient or anything, especially with how low my stats are, but I just kind of want to challenge myself and, well, I couldn't find a group at the moment, so I might as well give it a shot. All right, so I somehow managed to complete all the rooms before Ulm without dying. Okay, so this is apparently the inventory we'd have going into it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die. This is not gonna work. So I still got Mage running down pretty well. The issue is gonna be the melee hand because I have a tentacle whip. Oh, and I don't have a dragon warhammer either. No, no Dragon Warhammer, no Lance. Like, this is really bad. 
Oh, I'm dead. Not sure how that hit me. Damn, that's so sad, man. We were so close to a no death solo with this shit setup. We got it. Okay. Took an hour, but that is a one death, died at head phase at home, solo raid. So 75 is a nice stopping point, and my rank is now 156 or Ultimate Iron Man. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. That's so good. With the costume room rework update in summer, you can actually store ornamented dragon boots in your POH now. So that's a new upgrade for my manacles. Yes! I got him, finally. Uh, unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see my toes anymore uh, with the manacles. These look pretty sick. Uh, we'll be wearing these until we get primordials. Alright, so I'm finally ready to kill Vorkath. This is what my setup's looking like. I'm using Serp, Helm, and Dehyde because I don't have anti-venoms. Alright, and that is the 50th kill. I get my guaranteed head. So now let's go get that Slayer Helm recolor. It's gonna look so nice. Getting rid of the Draymond staff is huge for PVM because that's one inventory space freed up. But an even better upgrade is the ornate rejuvenation pool in the POH. And I finally was able to boost my Herblord to make anti-venoms. The last thing I needed for the upgrade.
Oh, oh, a Darox Helm. Oh my god, that's a back-to-back -back Darox Axe. It's that easy, already. No, no, not like this. No, no. Yeah. Please. Oh my god, that's that's my first completely. No, no, no. No, no, that doesn't count. Okay, it doesn't count. That's my first no death complete talk. Oh my god, I got a purple. Oh my god, what is it? What is the purple? No! 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 Oh my god, I already that's my third one! Haven't seen you in seasons. But all I hear is your voice. I know my limits, you can break me. Down, but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again Buckler. Oh my Damn. god, what? That's, a go, boy. that's my fifth purple Easy. and 83 kill count Bro, you, you literally called that as well, you were like, I feel someone's getting something I may have had some great Chambers of Zarek luck but I had yet to get a purple in my name from the Theater of Blood. I was starting to get the raid down very well, not dying very often at all, usually at most once, but chest after chest just never seemed to be a purple. Bruh, the hell? How do you avoid these? You just blow them up. <laughs> okay. It was, I blew them all up for you guys, so you, ha you have an easier time now. You're welcome. Yeah, we got millions of reasons to let it all go. Hope we're not. Too broken. I know I'm not always strong, and I've been counting days to get away. 
What? Whoa! No way! What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my god. Let's go. Can I do it? Three, two, oh, fuck. No! No! You know who called that? No! Finally getting a purple in my name was relieving, but I still wanted an Avernet. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how I see danger <gasps> No! No way! No way! Oh my god, I actually got a purple. Oh my god. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it a duplicate, man? Are you kidding me? You are kidding me. You are joking. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's at least it's not a dupe. Oh my god, no way. No way it's in my name. Oh no way. What? Five deaths. Here we go. Hey, Avernic! Finally! I'm done. Just like a spark that's breaking out. Can't make a start, can't turn back now. You know that there's no room for doubt. No, we can't turn back now. Oh, oh no, oh my god, holy crap, I did not expect that. Oh my god, I just like took a break for like a, a couple hours and it came back as like my second kill of this trip. No way. Yo, wait, what's the kill count, what's the kill count? Yes, yes, I got it. Oh my god, yes. Yes, about halfway through this task, or a little less. I now had my last upgrade I needed before returning to Chambers of Zarek. It was about time we paid our old friend, the Great Ulm, another visit. Alright, first deathless solo Ulm on this account. Am I rewarded? No, no purple, but that is a PB for me. 4016. Not bad. Alright, good luck. Oh my god, we got a purple, boys. 
a so this is the first solo purple in the account. I'm so glad I hid chat to to uh, milk this a bit. Ideally, I'm looking for the decks. Obviously, this is the main thing I'm looking for. Anyway, here we go. Okay, I forgot about Ansi Hat. I completely forgot about that. Okay, you know what? That's really good. We take those because I can store that in my house, and it's you know if, if I just get the Ansi legs, I'll be able to store all of Ancestral. So that's pretty cool. All right, another group raid. Any purple? Oh, I got a purple in my name. Oh, I got a purple in my name. I got chat closed. I got chat closed. All right, what is it? What is it? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh my god, yes! That's so good! Holy crap! Yes, dude! I didn't even have good points this raid. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god! So this is surprising to get a purple here. This is my second solo purple. Come on, please. Be something good. Oh! Oh, that's so good. I wanted that for Inferno. That's my crossbow. Yo, that's huge. Yes, dude. Before prepping for Inferno, I wanted to try out my new crossbow. I decided I'd do around 100 more raids to see what I get. What? No, no way! And there we go, there's the first unfinished Dragon Bolts drop. We get 60 of them, so it's a pretty decent amount. No way, dude! Holy crap! In order to save on supplies and make setting up between runs easier, I wanted to practice on my normal account first, using the same setup that my UIM would be using. This was quite the challenge. Between the recent blowpipe nerf at the time and the fact that I was using a crossbow for Zuck, I was essentially completing the Inferno on hard mode. After seeing a few Zucks, I started bringing a Tebow just to speed up the waves and enable me to get more crossbow Zuck practice in, because that was by far the hardest part. I had done ACB capes before, but the Dragon Hunter crossbow was even more annoying because you must long range Zuck in the corners.
even started practicing set flicking because I knew it would likely be necessary for a Dragon Hunter crossbow cape. With the healers dead, the finish line was in sight. But the problem was, I was very low on supplies.
I'm not even tagging the next set. I'm going for it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Oh, that was rough. I didn't take a duck hit. Or a jab hit, right? Wait. No luck required. Oh my god, yes. Holy crap. Oh my god. Wait, I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't even opened my inventory. Oh my god. Oh my god. First try on the UIM. Obviously, I practiced on my, my normie a lot. Thank you for being here, Jake. I appreciate it. Holy crap. Oh my god.